Imagine you were in an urgent requirement for oxygen right now at this moment. 15 minutes to get here and it's raining outside. There are so many places, not just in our country but around the world, that still have no access to proper roads and proper health care. Oto Himalaya was our quest to make oxygen portable and affordable and at the same time accessible to the common man. Oxygen is such a vital part of our existence. You cannot even survive a minute or two without it. Yet, it is so institutionalized. It's only available in hospitals and maybe healthcare clinics. The concept of O2 Himalaya began during the heart of the pandemic. You all know what it was then. There was major oxygen crisis, not just in our country, but throughout the world. It really bothered me also, watching everything that was happening on television, in the world, outside, in my own state. And it really bothered me. And I started looking for solutions for home, portable home oxygen solutions, not just for me, but I was really concerned for my parents, who are now elders, uh, senior citizens, and I was really concerned about them. So I started looking for solutions for them. So one fine morning, I woke up, did my um, little uh, exercise on YouTube because we are all the time in the world. And then I started Googling for home solutions for portable oxygen. And I found oxygen concentrators. And these oxygen concentrators were so expensive, out of my budget. We were all out of work back then. And they were also out of stock. So this got me thinking, if we cannot buy it, how about we make it? How difficult can that be? I am from Sikkim. My startup is based in Sikkim. We have some of the cleanest air here. We have the most beautiful water resource. And of course, by now you all know it's been repeated time and time again. We are the first organic state in India. However, no one has actually capitalized on this front. So we decided, let's do something about this. I spoke to my husband and then we started looking up on ideas and how we can make oxygen more portable and accessible. We did speak to a lot of manufacturers, machine manufacturers, and we, by the end of a month, we realized that yes, we could get a prototype ready. But I'm sure you all know during that time, all the banks were closed, we could not get loans, so we had to bootstrap the entire project. And in this regard, I would like to really thank my husband and my two co-founders who absolutely jumped into the idea and they supported me in this venture. And probably without them, this product would not have seen the light of day. So yes, we started. In fact, we designed everything, we got it ready, and now it was time to launch. When the time came to launch, we had a dilemma. Should we launch it during the time of the pandemic? It was an absolutely awesome time for sales. But then, we had not got the drug and cosmetic license yet. And we decided to wait it out. Because our concern was not just to be there in the market, but also to make sure that our oxygen was safe and pure for everyone using our oxygen. So we decided to wait it out. And you know how long our wait was? We had to wait. Being in Sikkim, we had to wait for absolutely a year. And the one who came, the, the inspector who came, he was also kind of confused because no one had actually applied for such a startup before. So it took us a year to get our licenses. But what kept us motivated is that we come from a place like Sikkim, which has some of the highest altitudes as far as tourism is concerned. We felt that, and, and we hear about high altitude deaths all the time, and it's been so many years. So we felt that maybe we could contribute something and make Sikkim a more responsible tourism destination with our oxygen cans. When we finally launched, we realized that we had to build a lot of awareness about it. AMS, or, or, or high altitude mountain sickness, it's real. It can happen to anyone and it's not reserved just for the healthy people or people who have physical pains or physical issues. It's not just reserved for them, it can happen to anybody. There was an instance wherein a high mountain guide for the last 20 years, she succumbed to AMS. So we knew that this was something that was really dangerous. 
So our first thought, we had to educate our government about it. We started reading up literature. In fact, I started going through all the literature that was available about AMS. And then we came across the ones that was uh, prescribed by the CDC. And also the central government stating that any healthy individual traveling over 9,000 feet should access not more than 500 meters in a day, that is 1,600 feet. And in Sikkim, we have people traveling from 3,000 feet to 17,800 in a matter of two days. And just to give you a context of how high that is, it is higher than the Everest base camp. So people are traveling, they're falling sick, and we read a lot of testimonials regarding that also. So what we did is we collected all this information from the CDC and also recommendation from the central government on how supplemental oxygen was important for tourists traveling to high altitude. We collected all of this and presented it to the government. And it was on this basis that last year, the Transport Department of Sikkim issued an advisory stating that every tourist traveling to high altitude should carry supplemental oxygen. This was a small victory for us because finally our product could see light of day and it could reach out to people who actually required it. So, now the thing is, uh, in my two years of working with oxygen, what I've realized that oxygen is really underrated. There are so many things that oxygen is not just for first aid, but it helps in anxiety, it also helps in panic attacks, it also helps in recovery for sports athletes, and it's been used by marathoners. And also, what we've also realized, it's immense potential in topical use. Oxygen can really help in wound healing and in case of diabetic foot also. So we, with my friends in the Department of Chemistry in Sikkim University, we are building a prototype in this regard. We are also trying to align, Oto Himalaya, we are also trying to align ourselves with the UN Sustainability Goals by providing local employment and also buying back these canisters for recycling. We are also supporting local enterprises. I would like to go through some uh, pictures which I would like to share with you. This was during the COVID time when we, these are my co-founders when they finally decided to come in on my journey together. This was the time during the COVID when we got our products packaged and because oxygen was under essentials, we could carry on with our project. This was the time my lab was being built. This was our first prototype that we came up with. This is the local women's cricket team that we supported. And these, these are my co-founders and along with the Northeast Venture. So we also tried to take out brochures, try to you know, package it and, and actually sensitize people about high altitude sickness. This is a time when our chief minister and our then governor came and actually looked at our product. We sponsored a marathon, high altitude marathon run to Guru Dommar Lake and uh, we supported them. This is a product in Nepal. So we are currently exporting to Nepal and I think we are the first country from Sikkim, sorry, the first state from Sikkim to uh, send our product here to Nepal. Uh, this is the Luxury Vehicle Association. They're really supporting us in this venture because they've seen so many tourists die in their vehicles while traveling to high altitudes. So they have also written a recommendation to the, uh, to the minister, uh, sorry, to our uh, transport department to make it compulsory in their vehicles. We are still awaiting. So this is our lab. And this is the notification that came out to carry portable oxygen cans by the transport department last year. So we also sponsored a marathon recently and this is in Nepal, in Pokhara. And recently, with our finance minister. So, uh, with, what I want to tell you is that uh, we are a small startup here in, Gang uh, in Gangtok, and we hope to see our product in all our G20 nations because I'm sure there are a lot of places that are still not accessible by road yet and still do not have proper health facility. Maybe we can contribute to that. And in conclusion, I would like to say that uh, at Oto Himalaya, our goal currently is very simple. We want to make high altitude travel safe and accessible to all, one breath at a time. Thank you so much.